Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Full Set Throttles. My name is Brandon. So today, part 2 of 2. I don't know if you saw the, the other video. Go check it out. There's a link somewhere here where I wrote the Suzuki Katana. Um, today, we will be doing the Suzuki Hayabusa Gen 3. I'm down here at South Motorcycles in Plumstead, Cape Town and it's part of the Suzuki initiative, Suzuki SA initiative where they're letting average everyday riders test ride their new bikes so it gives us you know it gives us an, an, an insight as to the latest technology um, so they've come on board and invited me down to to do it just a little earlier so I'm super appreciative to them thank you so much guys and let's let's stop talking right there we're gonna go inside um we're going to should we take a closer look at let's take a closer look at the bike and we're going to speak to a south motorcycles representative let's do it Bro, welcome to the channel. Hey, how you doing? Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me down here to have a, a little go at the uh, Suzuki Hayabusa Gen 3. Yes, sir. So, the, the Busa, it's always been one of my, my ultimate dream bikes, you know? Like, okay, okay. Like one of those bikes where one day when I'm big, I want this one. I'll take the thousands, but I want this one. Like, yeah, I'll yeah. keep this Busa. Um, so I know there's been a lot about the uh, Gen 3 as far as feedback's concerned yeah. with the Euro 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People saying it's not fast enough, it's this, it's that, they don't like the look. Um, personally, it's, it's grown on me, like yeah. every Pusa does. I mean, it's one definitely, of those things. Definitely, definitely. Either like it or you uh, don't like it. <laughs> um, so can you tell us, again, I know we, we would have discussed this last week, but for those that, that haven't watched, can you tell us a little bit more about the um, Suzuki South Africa initiative of like what what just tell us what, what's uh, going what's on. About? Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. So basically, what is happening is Suzuki South Africa is bringing the bike through the country, okay. or, or, or all the main models, like a set of yeah, the, yeah, yeah, a set of the, the main new. models, and then they're giving everyday clients uh, opportunity to ride the bikes which okay. is lovely so it's like like me like i come from a, an r6 i wouldn't generally be able to speed yeah, no, in something yeah, yeah. like this so, so that's yeah. the so, idea behind it kind of yeah so they're giving everyday clients and if every other client um okay. opportunity to to ride the bikes and test the other bikes um in turn also um creating more clients yes of for, course I at mean. the dealerships that the bikes are being um um like presented okay um yeah so am, am I uh, correct in saying that Suzuki South Africa chose you for Cape Town? It's like it's yeah, for yeah. it's only for um, South motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one yeah. else is getting this. I don't think anyone. I don't know about if there's anyone else, but yeah, okay. South Cycles is the place to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I think I think that's that's everything. Just something short and sweet. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I will I will link uh, Instagram and Facebook social media pages cool. to the video to the social media posts as well. And then, is there a particular extension people can contact you on, or do they just need to call? Yeah, they can they can um, call Suzuki South. Okay. Or they can contact me personally, Clayton. You know. Okay. So ask or they can just ask me, and I'll speak to Clayton. And yeah. You'll sort him out. I'll sort him out. Cool. Thanks so much. Let yeah. me go ride, bro. <laughs> Right guys, let's go Suzuki Ayabusa 
Gen 3 Woo. Super grateful Massive shout out To Suzuki South South Motorcycles In Plumstead for this opportunity Let's go have some fun man And nice glitter content in this paint Did a nice doctor detail with her Yeah Very Very nice Let the bike warm up quickly Right let's go Suzuki Hayabusa Craig Clayton Steve Thank you so much for this opportunity Let's go have some fun So as always guys you know I'm very respectful when it comes to riding someone else's bike um, There won't be any crazy limiting or anything like that uh, But with that being said we are going to experience the bike for what it is so let's go, yeah! Throwing it around is such a dream. It's got the stock pipes on, so. Which to make it kind of deceiving, man. Uh, we got a quick shifter. I'll test it out, meow meow. And then traction control, wheelie control, all those sorts of things, all the nice goodies. So I'm not going to be messing with any of the um, of the settings today. Uh, I'm just going to leave everything as is and just experience it like this. Right, so a little bit windy today, but for me on the bike, it feels really nice. Uh, my legs are getting a slight, slight breeze, but very comfortable. I think the sound is probably going to pick up slightly more wind. Sorry about that. But yeah, man, let's go. The riding position is extremely comfortable I think for a taller rider or someone with longer legs it might be it might be a little bit cramped but for me this is actually this is basically perfect and I'm not just saying so let's drop again here yeah, wind forth and a quick ball <laughs> Yeah! Oh you mad! It's so smooth! So I'm so used to closing throttle when I change I close I think on the first change But this quick shifter is so smooth Yeah! Let's drop again Turn and go! I think what also what also makes it crazy is sorry I'm shouting what makes it crazy is that you can't hear it <laughs> it's like you're just gliding yeah yeah this is nice and I mean when you want to cruise highway speeds it doesn't even feel like it doesn't it doesn't feel like by riding slow or by not riding aggressively the bikes you, you know it's like very jumpy and it doesn't feel like that it just it feels content oh so let's just do a 6k 
Now I'm gonna drop a gear, we just go and see what you got. Oh, she's there! Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah! So as it goes up in the ribs, it's just like it's more and more and more. Ah! Uh. And there you go down with the auto blip. Na da 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 da. This is something else. So we're gonna go over our cups of it. Uh, just feel it through there. Hopefully it's not too busy today. I actually wanted to try the heel assist here, but okay, it's okay. So first into second, um, I'm not sure if that's due to traction control or what. Uh, so look, I'm not even going full throttle, but the first into second, I cut just a little bit there. However, like second into third, it's just, it's happy. That gear change is effortless. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna go with some low revs. Let's go see what this is like, man. Wanna love, bro? Yeah! That kick is here instantly. And the way this bike enters the bends. I know we're not doing any crazy bends, but considering there's so many bumps and stuff through here, it's so planted, yeah. And then we've got the trusty old Brembo's auto shift, auto flip down, put it in. Okay, so this is feeling very weird. I'm not sure why. So it felt almost. It feels wobbly through there, it's like the front and the back is doing this. Um, I didn't check tire pressure or anything. But it was a little bit of a weird, a weird sensation. Maybe you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. And on the brakes, whoo, amazing. Ah, sorry man, I was stuck behind a truck. You know these truckers? <laughs> Woo! So the way this bike goes through the bends, yeah! It's much better than the R6, I can tell you that much. Just the um, suspension that needs to be set up. And then this thing will be super crazy. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I am sold. The way this bike handles, it's... It's effortless. It's really, really effortless. Yeah. Let's try quick zero to 100 here. Um, we're not gonna use any launch control or anything like that. Just a nice pull away. Oh, some wheel spin. I mean, some wheelie. <laughs> okay, so the 0 to 100 there was 5.01. <laughs> Alright, obviously that is now 
just with having a quick go might just do one more going back and then let's check it launch control but I won't be using it let's check here engage yeah that's nice it's a massive slope but let's see if we can get a quick 0 to 100 and have it valid and go oh come on man this bike is effortless yeah let's see let's see uh, 0 to 100 kilometers 4.17 not valid obviously because of that slope but okay so I think uh, right rider on the right day with with the opportunity to do whatever he wants in a sense I I'm holding back a lot um, a rider using launch control everything else off I think there's definitely low threes that can be done but yeah this is so nice guys I'm sold so used to the clutch right guys I think I'm gonna cut it there today thank you thank you thank you so much for this opportunity once again um, overall thoughts of the Busa you see it's very very tricky man because I'm obviously on the on the R6 now so to like the power for me is there but the power delivery is so smooth like I don't feel uncomfortable on the bike I don't feel like I'm not in control at any point um, with that being said put a guy on with a work boosa put him onto this bike and he might be like yeah it's restricted and you know whatever the case may be but for me as an everyday rider of a Yamaha R6 um, I've ridden a number of Busas Gen 2's, I don't think I've ever ridden a Gen 1 Busa actually uh, Gen 2's, I used to have a thousand, I've ridden a couple of thousands as well This bike is... Yo, can I say it? Can I say it? This is the perfect... The perfect bike to have for <laughs> yeah, for a very very long time and after this experience the Suzuki Hayabusa remains my ultimate dream bike it's got that speed it's got the ability to cruise it's got the okay obviously now it's got all this electronics as well it's got the comfort it's got the movability like you can just throw it around like it, it feels lighter than the 600 when it's in motion I don't know if I'm losing my mind or what is going on but the Suzuki Hayabusa Gen 3 gets the stamp of absolutely amazing baby <laughs> yeah this is just such a dream if you enjoyed today's video guys please smash that like button subscribe to the channel for more um, this is the end of the series video 2 of 2 for the Suzuki demos um, am I still recording? yes I am um, a massive shout out once again to everybody involved especially Craig from South Motorcycles also known as Suzuki South for inviting me down and giving me this crazy crazy opportunity I'm really super grateful 
Yeah. Guys, check them out. Links to their social media will be in the description down below. Uh, it will be in the comments as well. Uh, check out my social media. Uh, the teaser videos will contain links as well. And as always, guys, ride safe. And we'll catch you next time, man. Cheers. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, I love it! <laughs>